Damage and despair all around the DFW area. Let's begin in North Fort Worth. This is a photo of a funnel cloud from that storm that really ramped up in Tarrant County. Adina Wright sending us this particular photo. That damage from the storm, very evident in some neighborhoods. One area in particular, Elderside Drive and Drexmore Road in North Fort Worth. And that is where we find Yona Gavino tonight. She is live in that neighborhood with tonight's update. Yona. Steve, city crews came by this area earlier this evening and tried their best to clean up what they could. But you can see there is still a lot of damaged debris all over this yard. And take a look at this tree. Nearly every branch snapped like a twig. There's a swirling motion. When thunderstorms slammed into parts of North Texas, they carved a path of destruction across several neighborhoods. Marie and David Benson say a warning came from ominous clouds. Started sprinkling a little bit. Uh, rain started getting heavier. My son-in-law said, "You it, need to get out here and look up at the sky. There's rotation." And then uh, he said, it's, "It's swirling debris. Get the dogs in the closet." Yeah. <laughs> a viewer snapped this picture of a funnel cloud swirling in the distance. Over in Ken Izquierdo's neighborhood, houses, trees, roofs, and a fence were trampled by powerful winds. We came down the the street. And uh, it looked like a herd of elephants had just been let loose through the street. Ken was headed to a Father's Day lunch, but was forced to turn around when the storm hit his mother's house, shooting a tree through a window. Thankfully, no one was hurt around here. That's the main the main thing. A lot of property damage, but no injuries. Ken moved to North Texas from California. As he and neighbors work together, pulling broken boards and brush, he's amazed at how quickly everyone sprang into action. You start. Cleaning up your yard, and someone just comes right behind you and starts helping you without even asking. So it's it's wonderful, the sense of community. Yeah, that's actually why we moved to this area because it's because of that. You can see several houses, including this one, clearly were damaged in the powerful storm. But I did check just a moment ago with the fire department. They tell me, Steve, no reports tonight of any injuries. Live in Fort Worth, Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News.